When I started playing guitar, I was about 15 years old. All I wanted to do is play the guitar and be a rock star, play solos and just play the songs that I loved playing. And so I took a guitar lesson and the teacher told me, David, learn your intervals. <laughs> I did not learn my intervals. I couldn't care less about those things. Why would anybody learn your intervals? And that is a very important question. It's really important to know why you're going to learn something before you do it. If you don't know why, then you're wasting your time. And in this video, I'm going to give you five very practical reasons why you should learn your intervals on the guitar. And that's coming up. Hi, my name is David Wallman. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players like yourself find their voice on the instrument and express themselves more effectively using the guitar. Today's all about intervals. I'm going to share with you five reasons why you need to know them. They're very practical reasons and I promise that if you know your intervals, those five reasons and a lot more are going to happen for you and you're going to be more fulfilled as a musician. Let's get started. Reason number one, play anything you hear. And I'm not only talking about what you hear on the radio in the car, I'm also talking about what you hear inside. And that's so important when it comes to developing who you are on the instrument. Because an interval is the distance between two notes, that means that whenever you hear something, regardless of what you're hearing, whether it's a chord, whether it's a melodic theme, it doesn't matter, it's all made of intervals. Those intervals make the emotional appeal to the song. That's what makes this song different from this song. And if you can associate sounds and muscle movements to all these different intervals, that's gonna save you so much time when it comes to your apprenticeship of the instrument. You're gonna be able to play anything without requesting the tabs. It's such a useful thing to do, and it all starts with intervals. The second reason why you should learn your intervals is that it's gonna allow you to know which scale to use instantly without asking for the chords. And that's because if you hear a chord or even a series of chords, that chord is no longer gonna be just a sound that you're hearing that is pleasant or non-pleasant, but you're gonna be able to associate with those sounds some mathematical numbers. For example, you're hearing this chord. You can easily deconstruct that chord in your mind instantly. Ba, ba, ba. Because those notes are all different, they're separated by different intervals. And if you know your intervals, you can now say root third fifth. And that'll tell you that the scale that will work over that is a scale that has a root third fifth. And there's a lot of options there, but at least that eliminates all the other options that don't match that chord type. <laughs> The third reason you should know your intervals is that it's gonna help you put more emotion into your playing. I've seen this happen a lot of time and I know that you have too. We see a guitar player play a solo and the solo works, but it just sounds very static. It's just a collection of licks that you've heard over and over and the guitar just seems to be in automatic autopilot mode and all the licks have been heard thousands of times and even though Yes, it matches the chord progression. It's nothing really personal, nothing really memorable. You're probably expecting what I'm gonna say here. It's not the pencil that tells the story, but it's the author. It's not the guitar that should tell the musical story, but it's you using this as your pencil, your instrument. And knowing your intervals is the key that is gonna connect your inner idea with the outcome, the delivery through the muscles. Man, it all happens because you know your intervals. The fourth reason why you should learn intervals is that you're gonna become an expert at harmonizing things and overdubbing things. This is most relevant if you are playing in a band or you're recording something, and even if you're using a looper. Basically, because knowing your intervals is gonna allow you to associate sounds with shapes and mathematical organization, you'll now be able to automatically harmonize anything. Let's take, for example, this theme. If you know your intervals, you can translate that into interval language. One, two, three, five, four. This allows you to harmonize this line instantly. Now, yes, the fingering will change a little bit because we're not in the same key. We're harmonizing that, but it all starts with intervals. And now if you want to harmonize that, 
You start from the third note, for example, if you want a harmony in thirds, and you follow the same sequence following the right shape. One, two, three, five, four. And finally, the fifth reason why you should know your intervals is that it's gonna unlock anything you need to know musically. Just take any music theory lesson and you'll quickly find that if you don't know your intervals, you're not understanding anything that is said. Knowing your intervals is kind of like knowing the alphabet. Without it, you can't spell anything, you can't read books, you can't improve. You're gonna be stuck at some point. Now hear me out, I'm not saying that you can't play guitar or that you're a bad player if you don't know your intervals. Not saying that, but I promise that if you do know your intervals, it's not gonna limit you. It's gonna open up some new ideas, some new concepts, you're gonna be more in control of your instrument, and that's where real musical growth can start happening. Know your alphabet, know your intervals. I hope this video encourages you to finally learn your intervals if you haven't already, and if that's the case, I'm gonna recommend that you sign up to my free music theory DNA course, which starts every Monday. All you need to do is visit the link below, enter a valid email. I'll send you the worksheet for the course and we'll be starting this next Monday. It's a video course, it's free, and uh, I think you'll like it. And if this was your first visit to this channel, I would love for you guys to subscribe because I've got more videos coming soon that are gonna help guitar players like yourself find their voice on the instrument, develop it, and tell your own musical story using this tool. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, nobody can say it the way you say it on the guitar. See you next time.